on the main stage, they have the whole crowd in their favor right now, guys. I have to give a big shout out to Shibby and Mama Puckett. They're setting up a fan for me, so I'm not sweating tonight on the broadcast. <laughs> They've been trying to put it together for 45 minutes. It's kind of fun to watch. But here we go, guys. Game number five, Triggers Down versus Final Boss. We're opening this one up with Victory X. So to start off the game, we have Neighbor getting the sniper rifle here for Triggers Down. No surprise there. SK's got the rockets, and we have Fear Itself sniping for Final Boss. And great teamwork by Ogre 2 and Victory there, picking up the double kill as Victory X. Now he's got one player left top middle, and that is Neighbor with the sniper rifle. He's got to look out though, SK is starting to sneak behind his team in the lobby with those rockets. And Victory unable to chase down his Terry. He's taken down. We're going to jump on board with SK. He played this game amazing to start off the game. He's played the start <laughs> amazing. I can't talk, but it's awesome. And the thing is, his triggers down looked like they were extremely aggressive at the beginning, which kind of surprised me because based on CTF Pit, they were very slow to start off with the power weapons. And it's really going to matter when it's the second round of power weapons. In about a minute, the new snipers are going to come up. In a minute and a half, the new rockets are going to come up. That's when we're going to see where this game is going. And Fear itself. Nine kill lead. Victory. 19 to 9, a 10 kill lead now as it's 20 to 10. Triggers down in complete control of the top middle. 10 seconds till the snipers here, Bucket. That's going to be very important. And there's Victor X coming off the double, and there's. Well, we got to go on board with Victor. He just picked up the triple, and now he's stealing the sniper rifle from TD. Victory just needs to make a sweet move here, just kind of distract for as long as he can so Fear itself can get into position to get easy headshots on the other team. He was taken down, but Ogre 2 is there to take his spot. You see Pistol there, a nice headshot by Fear, almost connecting with the body shot. You see him starting to get help as Victory and Pistola come up top mid. And there he hit neighbor once in the body as well. You see final ball start to take control as the rockets drop down middle. That's why they took uh, that's why they took control over the middle. And guys, they were down by 10 kills. It was 20 to 10. Now it's 25 to 22. Fear itself sniping the rocket player once. It's neighbor. He's running to the flag. Ogre 2 unable to finish the kill on neighbor, and neighbor is gonna stay alive with those rockets, and now he's gonna be able to flank behind Fear here. Triggers down, able to pull away once again. Fear just barely missing the shot, but he was able to hit the beat down. Victory is going to finish the kill while going over the man cannon. Let's jump on board with Victory. He's flanking behind the TD squad. And Pistola just embarrassed Neymar there. <laughs> It's a one kill game, guys. Final boss right back in it, and so is the crowd. As long as final boss keeps this pressure on triggers down, triggers down can't do anything about it. They're not too much of an aggressive team. You see, they very rarely hit the man cannon, so they are going to be forced to hit that man cannon and go against how they normally play. And we're staying on board with I Got Your Pistola coming off the respawn. You see three members of final boss sitting top middle now. Ogre 2 inside the triggers down base, but they got to look out. Tots is coming over on the flank, just as Hysteria and SK are pushing up through lobby. Both teams trading kills as SK picks up the double kill. And Puckett, it's going to really come down to the sniper and power weapons again. I can't stress how important it is. In a minute, we'll see the snipers come up. A minute and a half, we'll see the rockets. One kill game triggers down with the lead. We're going to jump on board with Neighbor. He's going over the man cannon as he chases down Fear itself, who's going for that sniper rifle. 
And you got to love the play here by Neighbor. He knew he could have got his own team sniper, but he also knew Final Boss would be setting up for this. He's going to get out PR'd by Fear, and that's going to allow Fear to get this weapon. With that, it is a ballsy move there, Chris, because you're sacrificing complete control. It's either you come out a hero or you lose control. Let's see how the game plays out. Just like last time in Columbus, guys, it's all tied up. Final Boss takes the lead, but Neighbor just got the snipe. Great move by Neighbor putting that sniper in his back pocket. That, that's brilliant. We very, very rarely see that from Neighbor. And Ogre 2, though, is going to clutch it with a double kill top middle. And Final Boss doesn't even want that sniper right. I saw Ogre 2 walk right past it. They just want to continue team shooting. We're going to jump on board with FB. You got Ogre 2 and Victory inside the lobby. And Pistol is pushing up to help as well. They have control on top middle. Rockets are coming back in 10 seconds. They should be able to take this they game. They need to close this out, guys. Two more kills for Final Boss to advance. Triggers down needs to come up clutch if they want to win this one. They're down by four and they need six. And just one more kill as Pistol picks up the kill on SK. Fear's got the Rockets. Everything looking great for FB here. And here comes Fear. Everyone distracting in the lobby for him. And there's the game. He misses. He gets it. Wow. And final boss is going crazy on the main stage. They were down 2-0. They came back, guys. They fought through a very difficult Guardian Oddball. They stomped Guardian or Heretic CTF. And here they were down by 11 kills at one point, able to come back late in the game and take it. And it was all about the adjustments they made, Chris. After game, after game two, they realized they had to suppress the power weapons, and that's exactly what they did. On the other hand, we see Believe the Hype beat Straight Ripping in game five. 50 to 45, APG going plus five for that. So, this team won three in a row, but that didn't work out for Straight Ripping. There we go, guys. So you heard it from DMAX setting up our Doritos Saturday night kickoff. Final boss advances over Triggers down to face off against Carbon. Meanwhile, Believe the Hype, they advance over Straight Ripping 50 to 45 in game five. They will be facing off against the winner of our next match. We'll be seeing as Instinct, the number one seed, takes on their little brother's <laughs> status quo.